The 1947 partition of the Indian subcontinent brought with it dangerous riots, death, and mayhem all over the subcontinent. Millions of Muslim men, women, and children were robbed and massacred during the largest mass migration in human history. However, a good majority of the Ahmadiyya community reached Pakistan in a safe and organized manner under the far-sighted leadership of their beloved Imam. As a Muslim, I decided at that time that uh, 313 members of the community at that time should stay behind. As I said, other members of Sima have stayed behind in Qadian so that they uh, continue to act as the central point for the community in, in the newly created India at that time as well. On the 20th of September 1948, the foundation stone was laid for the new town of Rabwa, the future world headquarters of the movement. I think establishing a new city is difficult enough in its own right. Even building, if anyone has built a home, they could well understand how difficult it can be. But here we are in 1948, where a piece of land, a barren piece of land, if anyone has been to Rabwa and especially seen the older pictures of Rabwa, you can then well imagine uh, what an inhospitable place it was. But um, as a Muslim, I read the land ho, uh, again uh, prayed and um, this place was picked for the community and uh, the whole infrastructure was put around uh, this barren landscape. The amount of effort that was put in uh, was immense, was huge and the amazing thing is that cities and towns have developed and normally developed over hundreds of years and however Rava I think is unique, it's like a new city not planned by any government, but purely and simply because of the prayers of Hazrat Muslim and the keen interest he had, and because of divine blessings and help. On the night of the 20th of April 1952, Hadrat Amajan Sayeda Nusrat Jaha Begum Sahiba passed away in Rabwa at the age of 86. On the 22nd of April 1952, Hadrat Khalifa Tulmasi II led the funeral prayer. She was buried in the Bahishti Makbara, or Celestial Graveyard, in Rabwa. Hadrat Hamajan, may Allah be pleased with her, was the second wife of the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, and dearly beloved mother of Hadrat Khalifa Tulmasi II. Her marriage to the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, took place according to a special glad tiding. God Almighty blessed her with offspring who were destined to propagate the message of Islam among all the nations of the world and bring extraordinary prosperity to the movement. During the Khilafat of Hadrat Khalifa Tulmasi II, many conspiracies were hatched against the community. Khudur overcame every obstacle with amazing courage. He foretold that every plot would fail, and Ahmadiyyat would always march forward. With the grace and mercy of Allah, every plot failed, and the Ahmadiyya Jamaat confidently moved forward. In 1953, uh, the Ahmadiyya Jamaat, the community, faced a very hostile uh, public of Pakistan um, history, if you read history, it is well recorded over there, the trials and tribulations that the community faced. Uh, members lost their lives, riots were held um, uh, across the country, and anti the movements were led across the country. And um, the Jamaat faced uh, a very grave situation. However, even at that uh, trying and testing moment, as the Muslim Ayatollah stood firm against uh, all uh, opposition, outside of the Jamaat, that is, and, uh, and simply requested the members of the community to pray. Such was the trust that as a Muslim had in, in the message of Ahmadiyyat and, and in, in the Jamaat itself. And it seemed as if uh, the whole prayers of the community were answered at that moment in time. From such a groundswell of opposition, suddenly everything fizzled out. Again, the ringleaders and those who were instigating riots and 
against the MDG Mart, they themselves were uh, publicly humiliated in some cases, and also the whole of the opposition suddenly fizzled out. When the situation of the community had reached a critical point, Hadrat Khalifa Tulmasi announced that God Almighty has established the Ahmadiyya Jamaat. If these people win, then we admit we were on the wrong path. But if we are on the right path, then they will assuredly fail. To intensify the missionary work in the foreign countries, a new scheme named tariq e jadid meaning the new initiative, was initiated by Hudur on the 23rd of November, 1934, which was based on observing 19 principles or demands. This initiative proved very fruitful. Scores of missions have been established in many countries of the world, resulting in thousands of people accepting Islam. The Holy Quran has been translated into numerous languages. It set in motion a wave of sacrifice and sincerity. Many youths offered to devote their lives for the sake of religion. Gradually, this fund shaped itself into a permanent fund. The vast network of mission houses operating around the globe is due mainly to this fund. Hadrat Khalifa Tulmasi II was elected to the exalted position of the Khalifa in 1914. In 1939, he completed 25 years of his blessed Hilafat. Sir Muhammad Zafrullah Khan Sahib proposed that a ceremony should take place on this joyful occasion. 